Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be on a new little character in the swamp as a stalker. This little guy's name is Richard Kickens. I'm going to be doing the swamp quests with him. All the updates and stuff like that. I'm going to be remaking those videos with the new locations. Also doing the new swamp quest. I really didn't feel like running all the way back here on one of my two stalkers. So I figured I would just knock it out on this little guy since I'm probably going to be doing the swamp quests on him anyway. And as you may have noticed, there is a different camera angle. And also it may look different because it is a different camera. I just grabbed a webcam, which is just a GoPro, but I'm experimenting with placement and also lighting and such with it. It doesn't have the same color as my old webcam. So let me know in the comments below if the placement and the color is good the way it is, or if something needs to be changed. I kind of did what I thought looked the best in the time that it took me to set it up and all that jazz. One of the new quests is going to be this guy named Bede right here. He's in the middle of Adamant's HQ if you're on the stalker side. I had to progress the main story quest to the point where I get an old friend where Adamant tells you to go hunt down his friend who left town with Art. And when I was trying to leave, this guy stops you and wants to talk to you. So we're going to talk to him. Stalker standing over a bleeding body. Hey, help me. Somebody. Man down. Check the body. There's a dead stalker. The wounded man lets out a moan, but is quickly cut short and his eyes roll back. Looks like he's beyond helping. What happened? Bead takes a few deep breaths to calm himself down. I was on my way back to the camp from an errand and I was walking by the thicket. I heard a terrifying shriek. It was blood curdling, but I'm no pussy. So I ran to see if somebody needed my help. What happened next? I burst out of the bushes with my grandfather's shotgun at the ready. Walked right into some creepy thing standing among the trees. Huge, hairy, upright on two legs. Looks like it had grabbed this dude with one hand and was eating him. Well, I took aim and blasted it with canister shot. It let out a terrible roar, dropping the dude and disappeared. I literally lost sight of it in a split second. What was the thing you saw? Can you describe it? I've never seen anything like that and it was almost like a human. Too much like a human. Tall, thin, such long arms and its face. I didn't see its face. No. And you get the quest in quest. Maybe the wounds will tell us what it was. Let me take a closer look at the body. So then you go over here and talk to the dead stalker. Examine the dead stalker. You can't fucking talk to him. The dead man's armor was shredded by enormous claws. Examine the head. You see a grimace of pain and eyes rolled back. Looks like the poor guy died in a long and painful death. Skin on his face is pale and there's a bruise on his temple. Examine the torso. You see deep lacerations under the torn suit. On the right side, there are several bruises and swelling about the ribs. Looks like someone broke the poor guy's bones. There's a red area of skin around the neck, strewn with small bites. Examine the hands. There are several deep lacerations on the hands. The palms are scratched and a fingernail has been torn off one of the fingers. Examine the suit. The dead man's legs have suffered less than the rest of his body. You only notice a couple of abrasions on the knees. That ends the quest in quest, and we get more dead than alive. End your examination. Talk to Bede again. Stalker looks at you in a daze, waiting for the verdict. The body's all covered in lacerations, abrasions, and even some small bites. I don't know what to tell you. It's probably a mutant, but... Or you can tell him, are you saying that the attacker was standing on two legs? Maybe it was a human being. We shouldn't rule that out. I'm going to tell him the first one where it's probably a mutant, but... Stalker shakes his head. I've never seen anything like this. Judging by the holes, it wasn't a flesh or a boar or a pack of dogs. Sure wasn't a rodent. And if my eyes don't lie, then this guy looks strange too. You should talk to Kalina. He's our local hunter. He probably knows all the mutants and maybe he'll know what kind of creature just crushed this guy. All right, I'll talk to him. Where do you find this poor guy? The guy pulls out his PDA and circles a small area with his finger. He was around here somewhere, but before you go, be sure to shoot the shit with Kalina. He can definitely help you out with this. More Dead Than Alive is complete and we get Retired Hunter. Tell him, all right, I'll go talk to him. And he's going to be up here. Hey kid, what do you want? You here to listen to stories? I'm here on business. They say there's some kind of monster in the swamps. I'm going hunting and I need advice. You'd be better off pestering Kuzmich with your brain numbing questions. He's another local gamekeeper who likes to mess with newbies. Well, all right, I'm not gonna grumble. I have way more experience than that blabbermouth. So if they sent you my way, it must really be serious. All right, first things first. What kind of monster was it? A guy near here found a wounded man and brought him to the camp. Says he fought off a monster to save him, but he didn't get a good look at the monster, but he heard a terrifying roar. Terrifying roar? Well, even grunting boar can sound scary to you newbies. I once planted a grenade from a grenade launcher right under the tail of a seasoned pseudo giant. Now that was a hell of a roar. The glass on the gas mask cracked and my companion's ears started gushing with blood. And what about your poor guy? The wounds can identify the attacker. He's minced meat. There's several deep lacerations on the chest and hands. Lacerations are left by monsters with claws. It could be either an ordinary flesh or a scarier monster like a bloodsucker or even a chimera. You're lucky that we don't have any creatures like that in the swamps. Were there any other injuries? He had long red marks on his neck like some kind of burn but little bites. There's no way. Was the bite fresh and the wounds to the torso? Holy moly. Kalina sighs after thinking a while. Eh, kid, we're living in hard times, judging by your description. 
guy was mauled by a bloodsucker. Have you ever heard of those creatures? Uh, you can tell them one of four things. You can tell them I may, but can you refresh my memories? I assume there's some kind of bloodsucking mutant. Well, of course I know about them. Who in the zone hasn't heard of them? Yeah, or you can tell them I haven't heard of them. I'm going to tell them, yeah, because <laughs> who hadn't heard of them? Well, then why did you come to me for help since you know everything already? Tell me then, since you're so knowledgeable, how many bloodsuckers can you usually find in a single den? Usually three at a time. Sometimes they go it alone, but sometimes they gather in larger packs. All right, I'm convinced you're an expert. These southern parts are full of milk sops. It's rare to meet someone experienced, but just to be on the safe side, you should listen up. It might do you some good. Bloodsuckers live in small groups, but sometimes they go it alone. Their main feature is they can merge with the terrain at will. A green stalker wouldn't even notice, but I've never seen mutants like that in the swamp. Hunter falls silent for a few seconds, clearly deep in thought. God knows, to be honest. I haven't seen one of those creatures in the swamps for a long time, but anything can happen in the zone. We need to deal with this mutant before it eats someone else. If I were you, I'd take a couple of tough guys and comb the area where the poor bastard was attacked. So we get the retired hunter is complete, and we get the quest on the monster's trail. Thanks, I think, and so long. We have to go all the way to the middle of the swamp. I'm going to run over there, and I'll see you guys here shortly. All right, we're getting pretty close. All right, here's a body. There's a dead stalker just right here to the southeast of the dead center of the thing. Body shows no signs of life. Judging by the lack of stint, it hasn't been here that long. Several large lacerations on the suit around the torso. They're almost identical to the wounds you saw on the corpse at the camp. However, there aren't any bite marks on the neck. After a little rummaging through the dead man's pockets, you find his PDA with several notes about the very last thing on his to-do list. In addition to the usual buy provisions and repair assault rifle, you notice another entry. A simple meeting with Rubetsky. And we get the PDA. Say leave. There is another dead bandit. If you're looking at this guy, he's going to be straight to the left here. Rotting corpse that looks like it's been here for more than a week. There are many large lacerations on the body, located mainly above the torso. There are no bloodsucker bites. Upon examining his utility vest, you quickly find the poor guy's PDA. There's a conversation with someone named Damon upon it. Convict from the camp gave me an easy job. He said there's a local nut job who pays a lot of money for live rodents. Got his contact details. Some kind of scientist, I think. His name's Rebetsky. I mean, I don't know. It sounds a little bit sketchy, but it's worth a try. I've got a meeting with him near the creek. I'm going to rake in so much green, the boy's jaws will drop. And you get his PDA. That completes on the monster's trail, and we get new victims. Take it and leave. Now it just says we need to find out more about that fella. Enemies. I'm going to actually pick these guys back up, even though I downed him. Could have killed those guys, but we'll let them live for now. So I was running back to the base just to drop off stuff because I didn't realize I still had a crate of grenades. And I noticed that the actual quest takes you down there to the base. You got to go see Dodger, which is in Adam's HQ. So I'm going to run back there and talk to him, and I will see you guys here in a second. All right, we're back at Adam's HQ, and it's going to be in the main building here. He's actually the guy you go to to research artifacts. Uh, Let's tell him I have a very important question concerning the corpse that was recently dragged into the camp. Scientist looks at you in surprise. I don't know anything about that. A certain Rubetsky was involved in the death. According to my information, you may know him. Yeah, I worked with him at some point, though he went completely insane. At first, that lunatic would quietly experiment in his lab. Sometimes he'd order local knickknacks through me. Even paid extra delivery to his doorstep. I visited him once, and he had some kind of mutant in a cage. It looked like a human, but with huge claws, growling too. Like the Hadron Collider. And then what? Well, what do you think? I told him where to shove it. No amount of money will get me to go back into that lab again. Can you tell me where the lab is? His hideout's just across the river. I've sent you the coordinates. Just be careful out there. Because fuck knows what kind of experiments Rebetsky's doing with his pet monster. And that completes new victims, and we get the mad scientist. Thanks for the help so long. And it looks like it's going to be pretty close back up there where we were. Actually, it's going to be exactly where we were. It's going to be that door that was next to the dead bandit, it looks like. So I'm going to run all the way back up there. I'll see you guys here shortly. All right, we're back up here. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the dead body was right there. The first one and the bandit was right here. And then there's a door right here. Just going to be right here on the map where it says the swamps. Let's go in here. Checkpoint reached. And that gave us a new quest called In the Den. And we have to search the hideout. When you first come in the door, if you go up these, I guess, steps and then drop down, there's going to be a PDA on the thing right here. Scratched up PDA. It's one of the older models. Looks like there's several audio recordings. Listen to the entry. The voice on the recording sounds enthusiastic and confident. I spent a year trying to cure this disease. 
a year searching for the panacea in this cursed zone. I still remember the pitiful looks on the doctor's faces as they told me you don't have long to live. But what would they say now when I finally obtained the bloodsucker plasma? I'm practically one step away from the scientific breakthrough and I'm ready to take that step. I should begin the drug trial immediately. Next entry, success, I did it. I finally did it. After injecting myself with the plasma, I felt an immediate surge of energy. The disease didn't just diminish, it disappeared entirely. My body's strength is not just returned, it's increased tenfold. I feel like a human again. So far, there haven't been any side effects except for a slight headache, probably just an immune response. I plan to continue the injections. Next entry. The man on the recording speaks extremely fast. There's a hint of apprehension in his voice. I'm not sure if it's been caused by the drug. I've begun to eat noticeably more often without ever feeling full. All the food tastes bland. This could be a disease complication. Over time, this will definitely pass as I finally have overcome this damn malady. Next entry. I wish I could have ordered a second bloodsucker. The first one had to be sacrificed in order to collect enough plasma for the drug. Sometimes I have these peculiar bouts of nausea, weakness, migraines, and terrible hunger. I even fainted once. Hope this is only temporary. Oh yes, before I forget, there's a stalker coming in today with another mutant. I mustn't forget about the meeting, otherwise I'll run out of materials for my experiments. Next entry. Figure is agitated and clearly confused. Sometimes he makes long pauses. I woke up and my hands, my God, what happened to my hands? They, I don't know how to describe it. Thought I was finally cured, but this, I can't even hold a pen passed out again but this time i woke up not far from my hideout and my mouth i'm not completely sure but no it's definitely blood i don't know what's going on but the hunger i don't feel it anymore next entry the voice on the tape is growing even less intelligible and more intermittent i'm losing my train of thought more and more something's happening to me but i don't understand what my hair and teeth are falling out and my hands won't stop shaking and are starting to look more like the paws of some animal and my head is killing me i've started waking up more and more often in unfamiliar places like something someone else is taking control please help me Next entry, speech sounds more muffled and hoarse, but the voice is definitely that of Rubetsky. Pain, but help me, somebody, mommy, my head, it hurts, food. The recording's cut short by a piercing shriek that turns into a roar. It seems that is the last entry. That completes End of the Den, and we get Bloodsucker Man. Seems that Rubetsky's experiments have gone too far. We need to deal with him. I should look around. Maybe I'll be able to find him. Half empty cover. There are claw marks on the door. Inside, there are several harnesses and a pile of used syringes. I'm searching everything. I just want to make sure there's nothing hidden in here. And of course, there's a bloodsucker. I'm just going to make him run up and down these. And he's dead. So you can do this with literally the first shotgun you can buy with just rubles from the vendor. The little BM-16 sawed off and he was not a problem. You got to kite him up and down these. And if you hit him once with the shotgun, he's going to turn around just because of the, uh, the mechanic where he runs from you while you're damaging him. All right, that was it. I wouldn't want to do it with a pistol now that they've taken off the uh, stacking damage buff on the pistols, but the little BM-16 sawed off, which you actually get that one from the story quest, and it can go in your secondary slot, so. down to him just to let him know that I could have killed him but chose not to so now we're just running all the way back to the base and I will see you guys once we get there all right we're back in the HQ here bead is just going to be sitting by the fire when you first come through the door oh it's you how'd the hunt go I honestly didn't think I'd see you again I killed the monster but it's a wild story even by the zone standards don't joke this is serious wait did you really bag him fuck me you're really something and how are you still in one piece you're not injured you're gonna tell me what that mutant was don't make such a fuss. The attacker wasn't really a mutant. 
Wait, wait, are you being serious? What the hell was it? Have you heard of bloodsuckers? I came across a scientist who investigated them. You telling me this sicko of yours killed the fella? No, it wasn't human, I promise. That thing may have been standing on two legs, but I'd rather believe it was your bloodsucker. Seems the scientist had isolated some substance from the mutant's blood and spent some time experimenting with it on himself. So he injected it, and then what? Then he turned into a bloodsucker? Something like that. Filthy creature. Just wait till I tell the guys. They won't believe this. Speaking of the guys, while you were off being a hero, I talked to the local lowlifes, told them their asses were in huge trouble. I mean, most of them just thought I was mad, but a couple of them shelled out for some Kalina-type hunter. What are you planning on doing with the money? What are you saying? I mean, you sorted everything out. You didn't even have to hire a hunter, so you're owed the money. And that gives us, I got 15,000 rubles, 1,000 repair parts, three pouches of regular little first aid kits, three pouches of nine millimeter, and two pouches of canister shot for the shotgun. Must appreciate it. No biggie. Any work must be paid for, so take your money. Well, time for me to go. I need to let everyone know that the monster's been taken care of. I'll see you again, God willing. And that ends greeting victory. Tell them so long. And that is the end of that little quest line. Wasn't a very hard quest line. Pretty easy, actually. Which I didn't expect it to be too hard because it's quests in the swamp. You know, it's a starter zone. But with that being said, it was a little fun quest. Added some flavor to the game so that the swamp is not quite so empty. And by the way, I love the fact that the swamp, they drained a lot of the water. Most of the areas where there was just a ton of water, you can run through them now. There's low-lying areas but there's no water in them and i'm also a big fan of the fact that the barter items like the mold and stuff like that you can see them on the ground now they're highlighted green with a little green beam coming out of them so that you can see them easy big fan of that but if this video helped you out go ahead and drop a like comment and subscribe and as always i hope you guys have a good one and i will catch you in the next one you know take it easy